I think I spy Cadbury in the worm farm. At the top of the worm farm in the compost trench by the avocado seed that's grown, the pip seed that grew in the in the compost. Well I'll be. I know what you're doing in there darling. You're looking out for mice. You're hearing them and this is where <laughs> now pity you have to be sitting on that darling because that's not the cleanest spot. I suppose you must do an awful lot of that when we're not around. Wow. So little sweet. That's just taught me to uh, not put oily things in donkey because I put a lot of cooking oil in on top of the newspaper so that when you sit on it you get don't get all that stuff in through your fur, okay, because you'll lick and I want you to get sick. Okay, darling. So, you're looking for a, a mouse and uh, you're hearing them but you haven't yet uh, caught one, obviously. So, little girl, I would not be messing up your chances, wouldn't I? I'd be messing up your chances. All this compost material. Yes. A lot of fertility being formed down, uh, down this trench and the bamboo loves it. The bamboo loves it. So, little girl. What are we going to do? Hey, I'll leave you be, darling. I think I'll leave you be. Just good to know that you're on watch. You're on mice watch, vermin watch. When I say fertility, the leachate is really producing some very, very healthy little new combs of bamboo. Absolutely loves it. Yes. Of course. This is just the hedging bamboo, this small cane, thin, narrow cane one. And there's the other giants that uh, I'm not featuring at the moment. And of course the, the giants over there, bamboos are old hemi eye. We're talking a magnificent bamboo there on the side of the house on the afternoon west side that keeps us cooler in summer. So little girl, I'll leave you be. And uh, hope you catch something, my darling, and don't hurt yourself. Love you, Cabri.